Sorry to Thank interrupt you, the Honourable Member. Is there any further speakers? I call the Honourable Ruth Dyson, five minutes in reply. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Can I um, first of all acknowledge and thank all the members who have contributed and obviously those who have uh, indicated their party's support for my bill, which calls for the restoration of democracy in Canterbury. Uh, as I said at the beginning, it's not a big ask. It's what every other person, every other citizen in the rest of our country has, and that is the ability to vote in an open election for the candidate of their choice to run their local authority, in this case, uh, Environment Canterbury, our regional council. Uh, we lost that right to vote in March 2010. Um, my colleague Leanne Dalzell explained the deception that was brought into this House very clearly, where the report that was presented to the government by the Honourable White Creech was clearly a report of two halves, one half was written by White Creech and had a very open style about it where the concerns, the recommendations and his response to the recommendations where he indicated his high level of satisfaction with the undertakings and work that ECAN had done in order to address some of the um, report's concerns were being made in the second part, which was a predetermined um, section written to achieve what the government wanted and that was to get rid of Environment Canterbury, which was blocking what the Prime Minister wanted, and that was um, wholesale irrigation in parts of Canterbury, where that irrigation is very contentious. Uh, Mr Speaker, I, I deeply regret the fact that people like John Hayes, who's from Wairapa, thought that it was OK to come into this House and say what Canterbury needs. Uh, he's not from Canterbury. And it's not up to him to determine what we need. It's not up to the rest of the members of the government to determine what we need. We have the right to vote for who we want, whether people like it or not. That's what happens in a democracy. Some people win, some people lose. We don't always like the outcomes. We just like the process of democracy. Um, Mr Finlayson can chip away, but I'm sure he, as Attorney General, would value more than anyone the precious gift that we have in New Zealand of democracy. So the National Party intervened just over two years ago to take away that right to vote. And that's all that my bill does. It asks for Parliament to restore Cantabrian's right to vote for their regional council. Mr Speaker, I want to acknowledge um, the member for Christchurch Central at the time, Brendan Birds, my former colleague and long-time friend and future friend who introduced this bill originally. He put it in the ballot. He was fortunate enough to draw it out, but he didn't win the election, and so the bill has been tra transferred to my name. I want to acknowledge the councillors who worked so hard as elected representatives, despite the political differences that I had with some of them and the political affiliations I shared with others. Mr Chairman, they actually had prepared the Canterbury water management strategy that the national members were praising Margaret Baisley for introducing. Actually, I went to several briefings about the Canterbury water management strategy and the structure and the process for a shared view on water management in Canterbury long before Nick Smith decided to sack the council. Margaret Baisley has more integrity than to claim credit for that. If she was in this house, she would say what, the, what John Hayes and what Jackie Dean and what Nikki Wagner said was not correct. I know her of a woman, to be a woman of very high integrity. She would have corrected them because she was not responsible for that. That work was undertaken by elected representatives and the chief executive and staff of the time. When this, when this um, outrageous breach of our democratic right was undertaken, thousands and thousands of Cantabrians protested on the streets. We did erect the cairn of stones from the Waimakariri River my colleague Renaud Turakatni referred to earlier. It's just in front of the cathedral. Um, not much else has survived around that neck of the woods, um, Mr Speaker. Most of it is in rubble. But the cairn of rocks that we put there, to, and we said at the time, those rocks will stay in that place until Captain Cantabrians have their right to a democratic vote restored through our 10,000 or more earthquakes that can of rocks has stood, stood strong. That should be a bit of a message to this House that even Mother Nature can't destroy our passion and desire to have our democratic right to vote. 
for our regional councillors restored. We now know that Jerry Brownlee's next plot is to strip some core functions from the Christchurch City Council. And again, Mr Speaker, I just say that's not what we need in Canterbury. What we need is the support of Parliament to get on with the job that we try to do our best and we don't always achieve, but certainly, at the very minimum, our right to have our vote for our regional council restored. Members, this debate has concluded. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. The noes have it. Noes have it. The noes have it. Party votes called for. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes opposed. New Zealand Labour. 84 votes in favour. Green Party. 11 votes in favour. New Zealand First. 8 votes in favour. Māori Party. Mana. Act New Zealand. One vote opposed. United Future. One vote opposed. Any other votes? Members, the ayes are 54, the noes are 64, the motion is not agreed to. Call on members' order of the day.